what what I will say is this, and we're going to close out the show in a second, but what I will say is this, is that I don't think that Jackson State's going to suffer. And here's the reason why I don't think that. We still do not know who's going to be the coach. As of this recording, we do not know who's going to be the coach. And a lot of these fans are saying they want Cam Newton. Ray Lewis is circulated in every open HBCU job. I wish it would stop circulating. But I, what I want for Jackson State because and, and Willie Taggart can't come because 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 Taggart he, he's going to uh, to Colorado with Deion Sanders so that's not happening. Um, but I really just want a coach. Coach, don't try to recreate the wheel. Don't try to get another Deion Sanders. Just get another really good coach with experience that's been an assistant that's been an offensive or defensive coordinator. Maybe the recruits that Deion Sanders brought in, maybe they leave. Okay, bye. Because the same way that Deion Sanders is going to quote unquote clean house in Colorado, that coach can clean house too. Because I think that now that all that Deion Sanders and the overwhelming talent gap that clearly was there is going to go. I think that fam, you and Alabama state are going to definitely be contending to really go over that top spot. But I think you get the right coach in there. That is not necessarily a celebrity, but they know how to build a program and a culture, I think that they bring in good recruits, good transfers. You st- it's still Jackson State, and then you still have, you know, the effects that Deion Sanders did do for the school that were good. So I think that they're going to be fine. I, I think that they're going to shock people. I think that next season, I think that maybe, because I don't know what South Carolina State, because um, you got B.J. Davis going to going into, uh, I think, either the transfer portal or the NFL Um but like you know, you have a couple of, of guys for South for South Carolina State that are going to be transferring and leaving, and we got to see what Buddy Pugh is going to do because he might because Buddy Pugh might have a down year again. We don't know, but I think that people are going to be shocked if they beat South Carolina State in the Miax Swag Challenge, but they'll overreact if they lose to South Carolina State, you know, next year because I think that we're going to predicate everything based off that one game. But I think that they have a great chance of being maybe eight and four. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe seven, like maybe seven, eight wins. Like I, I think that that is, I think that's possible. Honestly, honestly, do honestly, do I, I think that it's going to come down to the fam you gain because they're playing Orange Blossom Classic after the Miak Swag Challenge. So we're going to see what fam you does. If Coach Simmons stays, we'll see what they do because fam you has always been around, and then we'll see what happens. You know, with Alabama State, but I just don't think that. They go from LeBron in Cleveland to LeBron when he left to Miami. I, I just, like I said last week, I don't think that happens. And then let's not forget that Cleveland beat LeBron last night. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, we could be 2022 Cleveland in ja- at Jackson State because they should. Sure they, they beat him now. <laughs> 21.17 rebounds. LeBron had a good game, but they beat him. 43 points for Donovan Mitchell. So, I mean, let's say that Jackson State does that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just. I'm just saying, like, we don't, because it's all about the coach. If they bring in a trash coach, okay, yeah, I, I see what you're saying. But, like, that coach can really uplift the program similar to what Deion Sanders did, because I will say again, and I will stand on it, Deion Sanders was not a good X and O's coach. And they're like, but he doesn't have to be. He's a CEO. I get it. But as a CEO, and I know this for a fact, as a CEO, you got to know how to do it all. Can I design? No, I cannot. But I know how to put together a design. I know I had to tell my designers, hey, this is what I can do. I can't design, but I can, hey, do this, do that, do this and that. And and because I know the X's and O's of designing, Ariel, okay? I can write, I can edit videos, I can do audio, I'll be talking sports, I can talk pop. Like, I know how to do it all. So when it's that time, when we get a million dollars, I can do it all. So I, I know this is how we're going to do the, the 2024 coverage. Of, of, of the presidential race, okay, with Ron DeSantis and whoever else, because Ron DeSantis is going to be the person. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we're we, like we going to break it down because I, I know what to do. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the CEO sort of got to know maybe I can't design, but I know what needs to be done. Maybe I can't do this, but I can direct my people. I'm not totally unaware. Deion Sanders is, is unaware of how to coach a good X and O's football game. I'm sorry. He's a great football mind. He's a great analyst. He's a great recruiter. But it's only so much Mike Zimmer, Tagger, and the crew is really going to do against Utah, against Nebraska, against some of these schools he's going to see in the Pac-12 and some of these out-of-conference games. So 
it, like if you bring in someone that's a better coach, I think, and then you bring and they bring in a good quarter, a good quarterback after Shador. He don't got to be Shador, but a, a good enough quarterback. I think they'll be just fine. I honestly do. But before before we close out, what do you think? Am, am I just totally wrong? Just let me know. <laughs> I just you, you, and then you, to each his own. That's 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 what's going. That's what we're going. Like I, I didn't. Say they're you know, they're going to suck. <laughs> they're gonna be trash. They're just not going to be as great. And I, I still stick with maybe they win five, five or six. You, you, you know, give them five. Four, five you give them five, five. Five or six games. That's I, pretty good. That's pretty good because because people think it, people think in Colorado yeah. they're going to trade places. <laughs> Jackson, Jackson State. I, I truly give them five or six games. I just think it's going to take a minute, like just to have, you know, just to get a better coach, a committed coach. Because I think the commitment issues right here between Jackson State are kind of, you know, they're they're going through it right now. And I completely understand when it comes to having somebody not loyal to you, you know. But also, you got to find another good quarterback. Like, like out of everything. I think his sons, even Shiloh, are one of the best things that happened to Jackson State. I will never take anything from them, and they haven't done anything to me. It's really their father. They they are great players and potentially, <laughs> honestly, potentially greater players if they do decide to go into the draft and they do decide to play professionally. I, I can see them, and I will be huge fans. But I just, it's, it's going. they need a time. They need a period. Everybody has to have a period to heal. And after this season, that's what it's going to take. If God just blesses them with an amazing coach and an amazing quarterback, that is beautiful. I just personally think this is just not going to be it. But like I said, to each his own, that's how it is. I, I think the people have heard enough from us today. 